Select Board's meeting, May 1st, 2018, Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. In attendance, Vice Chairman Didi, Mr. Fox, <laughs> Mr. Steinhardt, and Cindy Pendleton. Might be the last uh, meeting you're a clerk at, no? I, I don't yeah, know, you but, know. you know, I just think it's good that finally the adults are back in charge and yeah. that youngster is going to be put in his place. Oh I don't know if he's going to be put in his place. <laughs> That's usually what his wife does. But, uh, <laughs> we'll do a weekend to encourage that like we always do. All right, so Douglas is not here this evening. He is out away on business. So I guess I will play the game of Um Public comment is first at 631. 531. No. Oh, 531. Yeah, 531. I don't see anyone in the audience, but I'll still ask if anyone has a public comment. They're more than welcome to state their name and address and give me their line of bull. Well, we got nobody. Off to a good start. All right. So first up, we have a hearing. We're going to wait until the gentleman shows up because we're still a small town of Southwick and we do those nice things for people. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's go with our acknowledgement of payroll warrant 1826 dated 43018 in the amount of $211,389.57. Are you sure that's all of it? That seems awful low. No, Russ and I signed it. That's okay. It There's enough there. All right. Just want to make sure. Usually I checked usually every there's a million line. In for, I, I checked doubt every you line. checked every line. Every line. Uh, you'd cry if you checked every line. <laughs> All right, so let's do the minutes. Uh, our regular session minutes for 423. I need a motion. So move. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Any executive that day? Yes. I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And our action item. Action items. The first one up I have is a uh, Suffolk Town and Granville Regional School District. Yeah, let's see what is this. I need, um, the reason I put that back in front of you is I need an RSVP. Oh, I'm going. Yeah. In honor of district students who lost their lives serving in war, the Suffolk Town and Granville Regional School District cordially invites you to attend the dedication of the Veterans Memorial, I'm going to say it wrong, is it foyer? Oh, that's um, good, yes, uh, did it good, all right. I paid attention in one class. On Monday, the 21st of May, 2018, at 9 a.m., up at the uh, Regional High School. And I'll be there, and I'm sure Doug's going to be there. Put us down for three, and we'll take the fish. If you notice, yeah, there is the, no next, fish. <laughs> <laughs> the next, I'll take that, sir. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to start this whole mess again? Yeah. It's going to be a long notice, year. The next one. Well, Sandra, I'll be at that thing on the Monday, too. Okay. Oh, so put, put us down for four, no fish. Okay. All right. The next one is the appreciation dinner, which All right. happens to be on the 12th. It's prior to the... Please join us for the appreciation dinner in order to say thank you for those who have contributed to the four-year project on May 12th, 2018 at 4.30 in the evening at the uh, VFW Post 872 Hall, like a good event. I will 151 Point Grove Road, Road, Southwick, Mass, May 5th. Okay. So this is the week before? Yeah. N no, two weeks before. What's I the think. date on that? The 12th. The 12th. Yeah. And what's the date on the other a, thing? It's a week from the 21st. The 21st. Okay. This is a week from this upcoming Saturday. Okay. Uh, I got Southwick's prom in this Mother's Day weekend. Oh, yeah. So I will... I have a daughter going to the prom, so I will be Is unable it? to attend. Um, so put us down for two. I'm sure Doug will make it. I'm sure I have to go. And I got no extra help. I checked because okay. I, I lose four people. Okay. And there's an event somewhere, so I'm really screwed. All right. Next up, A2, American Legion Poise 338. Just an invitation to March right. the Memorial Day Parade. Yep. At 9.30, it starts off at the Southwood Plaza. Well, we got to be there for 9.30. It probably starts off at 10. Uh, ceremony at the Veterans Memorial. There'll be second ceremony at the Southwood New Cemetery on Route 10. There's a luncheon after at the American Legion Post. Any questions, give them a call. 
So do they need a, a count? I think I can make this. I don't think I have an event that day. I think all three of us will Yeah, be I think we can make it. Yeah. I know that's going to be there. Yeah. So oh, well, since a matter of fact, you do I, I would, like, I would <laughs> like to also make a motion, or um, I think Doug should be the speaker, should they need one? It, he, yeah, he's yeah. not here tonight, so we'll let him I speak. think Doug would be a great speaker. Yeah. And the permit is next. Okay, up next is the permit for the parade. Dun, 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 dun. Memorial Day Parade Permit 52818. Um, They'll be going down with Tim Torture, so I have to notify the state. Yep, so that's the details. Oh, look at that, huh? Yeah, gather at 930 at South Oak Plaza, 10 o'clock, the parade steps off. Goes down the street, like we said, stops at the uh, memorial, and then heads on. We drive to the cemetery, right? We don't walk anymore. Right, no yeah. one walks anymore. That's too bad. All right. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Permit has been approved. All right, A4. This is a nice poster. Mm. Grand opening of New England Disc Golf Center. I just went to the chiropractor today, a matter of fact. But it's a different disc, so. I can imagine what we'd all look like out there playing this. Oh, I, it'd be pretty scary. Russ, bring the ambulance. All right, ribbon cutting ceremony at noon. Um, where is this at? 51 John Mason Road, Southwick. So we're all welcome to come. And Russ, you want to cut the ribbon? Uh, unfortunately, again, prom and mother. Is it the same week? Right. What are these people doing? I'm at UMass. Uh, Doug Moglin will be there cutting the ribbon. <laughs> since he has nobody that's going to the prom, and he's not here, so we can put him in charge of everything. <laughs> I'll let him know. You'll let him know. Make sure he gets the big scissors yep. so it cuts easy. Will do. Okay, that's great. They're finally getting somewhere with that and opening it up. Yeah. I went by it the other day. They got the sign up. It looks good. Could you tell? Was all this construction done? Are all the neighbors upset? No. It's, no, it, it looks it nice. Looks, uh, Imagine that. Scenic and uh, in terms of all that. Looks like a beautiful board. recreation. Yes. Were you facility. on the planning board when that was going on? I wasn't on the planning board, but it seemed every time I walked up there, they were in front of them <laughs> for something. There's a long way for that, uh, for that business. All right, next up, A5 is a discharge lien for 50 Pinewood Road for a Jill Cordes Cord Cord for 24000 So we need a motion to approve the chairman to sign the uh, lien. So moved. All right. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Sign. <coughs> All right. Good job, I'm signing. If it's wrong, too bad. We'll fill in the rest. Joseph Didi. I can't read my signature. There you go. All right. A6. Notification of chemical treatment for the Congamon Lakes. Looks like on Monday, May 7th, they will be treating. All right? City, when's the Connect City call? Um, Friday. 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 Yeah, so we can't swim in there. On 5.8, and we can't drink the water in there on 5.11. Uh, no livestock on 5.9, and you can't irrigate till 5.13. So we're covered. We're all safe. Yeah. And Great. They, pretty much everybody's used to this. this is oh, yeah. Problem. No, they're excited to see it. That means they might have a nice summer out there. And then A7 looks like someone's resigned. But, you know, this doesn't foreclose later on if this uh, if they start... Determining that there may be that algae. An algae oh yeah, no. Then there'd be a separate application of an algae site. Sure. And th those are done within 24 hours. That decision to when it's done. Yeah. Yeah, they do a great. Job. Remember what the guy said during the budget hearing? If you wait too long. Yeah, you could lose the whole lakes for the summer. Close it for the summer. All right. Next up, we have a resignation for David B. Hopkins from the CPC. He went to one meeting, he had a great time, and he decided to move out of Southwick. <laughs> so, that's not saying much. That's not an emotion. David is a, a great guy. Of course, his uh, wife's uh, family is a long-time family. Yeah. Uh, and uh, David served uh, previously Yeah. Uh, when he was younger. Yeah, he and, basically uh, uh, said they bought a summer home in Connecticut yep, and, uh, and decided they, they only need one home. Right. So... Uh, I wish him nothing but the best, and I thank him for not only his service on this board, but on his previous service. Yep. Yeah. So motion to accept. So move. Is there, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. How are you today? 
good. Are you going to turn the tape recorder on? Yes, sir. Let's go. And now the questions will be at the end. Uh, I wasn't aware last time. That well, that's fine. I'm just telling you, Doug's not here. I'm in charge. <laughs> well, and I'm, a little, I'm a little more rough than Doug, so but I'm just telling you now. Done, it's all good. Done, we, can we, can, we can ask a million questions. So take good notes so you understand what the heck we're talking about. And you're always welcome to call me in the morning, too. They right should be right table. out there where you were supposed where you to sign in. Where you signed in. still got to sign in. <laughs> All right. It's chapter 90 reimbursements. It's pretty thick. Does that mean we got more money this year? That would come with it. Oh, we got to sign every one well, of these? It's the allotment you got last year. All you're doing is submitting the reimbursement paperwork to the state. You want to sign that at the end? Because remember, Joe, you fronted the money, so you didn't actually get the money. All right, so do we have to do? make a motion I'll, to approve. They're pay you back. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> and tonight we will sign these. Right. We don't want to sit here for a half hour for that. All right, A nine. See, I learned this from Doug. You cross them off as you go. All right. That doesn't matter. Seasonal help. The Department of Public Works is looking for a few good men or women to paint hydrants and clean out gutters. And a few other things at the transfer station. So we need a motion to approve two individuals? To post. To, to post. authorize for two. two a motion to, to authorize the so. post for two part time employees for the summer. Right. So moved. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> 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 Sideshow. <laughs> Sign that and pass it down. All right. All right. Southwick Fire Department's up next. Accept this my recommendation to, recommendation to play, place Anthony Anagata? No. Anagata. On the fire department, as an EMT, he comes with experience. He is currently working for National Ambulance. Working for an ambulance service has given him some prior experience, and therefore, I feel he will be he would do well in our in our third observed observer program. What's our third observer program? It's the first stage of getting cleared. Wonderful. The new ones ride with the other two season ones. Gotcha. <coughs> and by doing this, he'll end up becoming one of our uh, EMTs that fill in shifts and all. Call for us. There you go. Here's the proper word. All right. I need a motion for Anthony. A motion pending all the requirements. You got it. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Good morning. I know it's Tracy, but Chris Macchio. That's coming. Next. Yeah, I saw that. I read that somewhere. That's going to be under the uh, supplemental A10. Oh. Oh, I should look or through this then. It's going to be a little later. Well, let's see. No, A10 is right here. Yeah. Yep, I got it. Not a problem. Well, no, that's Anthony two. There's another one. Yep. Should be next to the last. Dun dun dun. We'll find it. Should be next to the last. A thirteen application for a license. Right. Oh yeah, here it is. A fifteen. We'll take it out of order. Oh, A fifteen. Chris Macchio. Yep, from the Southwick Fire Department. It's with great pleasure from the chief that he would like to put on. Uh, I was sitting, I'm sorry. Can announce that one of our current firefighters has taken the EMT course and has passed with his EMT national exam. I am requesting that Christopher Macchio be reappointed as a firefighter EMT. We would like him to start third observation program again uh, on, in direction of our EMS coordinator. So I need a motion for Chris Macchio. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Yep. Never ends, huh? Some leave, some come in. That is, that is a revolving door. Yeah, well, you know, some of them, they, they go No, it's, it's all good, they yeah. They go on to but other just, great opportunities. So yeah. I mean, think about how many people you've lost that have gone on to, to full-time departments. It gets exhausting. Right? You lost yeah. one to the Cape in the last couple of months. That goes months. with it. Cape, you, Long Meadow, yep. Hinsdale. Uh, Sturbridge. Right. So you've basically trained four other individuals in a volunteer call force that have gone on to full-time employment somewhere else. We should make, them, we should make them stay a year. So that is back, a, that's something we said for the training ground. Yes. Including oh, wait, great. yourself and your career path. 
He's a product of Southwick? Yes. Oh, yes. Product of myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I okay. I him way back. He and Kevin, too. Yeah. Bunch of kids back in the day. Yeah. All right, so this next up, A11, is uh, permits and fees in regards to hawkers and peddler licenses. And tag sales. And what? Tag sales. And ta oh, those tag sales people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. a dollar a day. And what are we this hasn't been reviewed in a decade, All right. right? So it's been like that for 24 years. Yeah. 24 years. So it was a, a buck decades. 24 years ago. Wow. And probably prior to that. All right, so let's take this under advisement. When Doug gets back, we'll tweak some numbers and take a good look at it. So table the motion. So we'll make a motion to table. So we'll, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's tabled. Yeah. A dollar for a tax. The paper costs more. All right, review of hawkers and peddlers license. Oh, we did that. So this up is a 12 notification. So the opioid, opioid seminar is coming up. Uh, yeah, I remember it was canceled back in February because of snowstorm. A little bit of snow, yeah. And we were told about it. They yeah. didn't have a time, so yep. notary finally. May 16th at 6 p.m., right here in the town hall. The auditorium is booked for this Sunday. Yep. Yep. So far we got uh, Police Chief Dave Riccardi. He might be as next to his last speech. You never know. Well, other than when he leaves, you know. Well, that's good. I mean, he's getting, speeches are getting less and less. Detective uh, Robert Landis will be up next, and then uh, Michael Taggart is going to speak, uh, Jen Willard, Joe Trammell from the principal's office, I know the principal's office, Russ Anderson from the fire department, Chief Russ, and select board member Doug Moglin, probably his last speech too, and uh, um, there'll be some folks um, from Recovery User Program. All right, any questions? No, I you think, uh, flowers? I think they, we ought to commend the Rotary for oh, it's uh, a great, great, great thing. Uh, yeah. putting this event on. And staying with it. And and staying with it. Yeah. Pass that down so I don't know. All right. The thing you'll want to be thinking about is you've got town meeting the night before, <coughs> so you don't want to be having too many Connect City calls going out there. And the last time you wanted to have the opioid one on the Connect City call. Yep. So we'll Look. have to maybe do one call announcing several events. You could do that. Yeah. No yeah, one shows up at town meeting, so. Right? Yeah. It's, you got the town meeting on the 15th, and right. this is the following right. night. Oh. But they're, they're all on the town crier, although I haven't seen. Uh, and the town crier, has he put on the election in town meeting? I, I don't know. I'll talk to them. There's some stuff that's up there that's, that's yeah. old that could come down. So right. There's probably plenty right. of room. It might need to be refreshed. Yeah. I'll talk to them. It's definitely bright, and it keeps moving, though. He's doing yeah, a great job. Yeah, he was busy. He was He's busy wearing a tie today for his Channel 15 taping. Oh, you taped Channel 15 today. Wonder how to come out. <laughs> Where'd you tape it? In here? No, upstairs. Upstairs. Nice. Is it out there already on Channel 15? Uh, he's, he's doing it shortly. All the work products have been posted to the web page. So another day or two, we'll have it yeah. up. Great. All right. Next up is a one-day liquor license uh, for Southwick Rec Center. And it looks like the date is going to be May 25th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. It's a fundraiser for the rec center roof. You guys need a roof over there? Uh, we have a, a, a leak. A couple of leaks. Some buckets don't fix it? Well, them. it's uh, 50 years old. Oh, is it really? And it's a metal roof. And uh, it's, it's there. some of the gaskets uh, are in need of uh, refurbishing. Wow. The garage at the street. But yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, I, I think uh, we're going to have to invoke the rule of necessity since I am a member of the board of directors for the South Rec Recreation Center. Mr. Moglin is not here tonight. Yep, sounds good. That's all we need to do. Do we have to make a motion to enforce it or no? To invoke it, yes. Yes, I'll make a motion to invoke, invoke the rule of necessity. Rule of necessity. I, will, I will second that. And that may come up again tonight, so. Mm -hmm. We'll just continue it for the evening. Okay. Did you second that? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Wonderful. Then so I will make a motion to approve. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we waive the police officer. Is that also here? Mm -hmm. we, That's usually part we normally of do. Problem. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll make a motion to waive the officer. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Sign away. 
<sighs> this one's got Bishop's name all over it. Something tonight. One, one Grant. All right. So up next is a grant for the 911 department has approved. Let's see. I received a notification on Friday that the state 911 department has approved the final phase of our 911 support and incentive grant for the sum of $8,394.93. We should be receiving said reimbursement within the next 30 days. The original grant was for $28,148. And uh, they just want to let the select board know. Chief yep. Riccardi. Okay. Wonderful. Is that all you could get us, Kevin? Or is there any on the table? Or? Uh, we'll be filing another one. All right. Go give me some more money, please. Thank you. Okay. Do we need but, to but, accept that? No, because that was already a vote. I think that's just the final payment okay. of the grant right. program. It's not the accepting of the grant. Okay. Right, right, right. Which will have distributions with it. Okay. So but it'll be noted in the records. Yes. So next up is uh, the permit. All right. So next up is a permit for a parade. Um, Southwick Walk. Let's see, no, run, run Walk Southwick is the uh, name of it. It's the, uh, this is where my issues come up with the okay. uh, things because I'm somewhat involved in Southwick this too. Civic. So Southwick Civic say. Fund. So you want to vote? May or may not. Rule of necessity again? Right. Rule of necessity. Shows He's mentioning oh. that he's a member of that separate nonprofit, okay. like right. you were on the rec center. So I will make that motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? So you're invoking aye, the rule of necessity? Yes. And, and now you're going to go on to the application. Correct. And the application is for a application for license permit. Um, this is for the parade permit and, the, both. Yeah. and the liquor. Okay. Uh, okay, by Mr. Landis. Are you running this, Joe? Are you running this race? Or? You know, I got to do something. Let me tell you. I got to drop 25 pounds somewhere. It's sad. It really is. It's depressing. I took the mirrors out of the house. Uh, you, yeah, you, you have the applicant <laughs> for the yep. license here, as well as the um, the person putting on the, uh, the liquor. Well, we got everyone so in town. You've got all the parties here before you, Mr. Chairman. Wonderful. So I see that it's uh, you've been, you've been to Officer Landis and he signed off on this. All right. Anything he you no want to? What's that? He has no problem. River Brewery. Brewery. No, yeah. they've been uh, they've done a quite a. If you've yeah. watched their facility over there and their events out back. Did um, Patricia want to talk about the they've event? They've gone a long way. So Patricia, did anything you like to add? Uh, not much. It's uh, May 27th. Come. They're not Yep. Half price for um, first responders and. Um, Old people. No. Well, price goes up because you're a risk. I am a risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have an ambulance call. So. Yeah. You're not good for the health care financing models. Uh, so, yeah, so we, we appreciate our, our nursing and health care providers as well as our first responders. So they automatically get half price if they come. That's a good thing we're doing. But, yeah, we're going to have the brewery there. So all runners and participants get a wine or a beer as they finish the race as well as a ice cream for the kids. The wine is done? Wonderful. You were been working on that for a while, so that's all yeah, up and running. Yeah, you're in line now. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, came in front of us about a year ago. Yeah. Wonderful. Did you see the email of the winner of the year? All right. Do you have any questions? Well, I just would like to give them an opportunity to... Yeah. I'd like to give you an opportunity, yes. since we have the press here. Yes. Tell me about it. I know nothing about this. When does it start? What are we doing? What is Can we it use cost? golf carts Everything. or how does this work? I, no, I don't know, but if I don't want to run it, can Where's I get the, the golf money cart going? around it? So let's right, promote so this May thing. May 27th, the event's going to start at 1130. Okay. The kids run actually is going to start exactly at that time. And then the 5K, 2.5K um, walk as well as the 10K is going to start at noon. So that gives the parents the opportunity to do the kids run and then participate in the actual run. So within that area in Wally Park, um, there's a baseball field that we are making an area for the vendors. And then um, there's going to be other vendors outside of the brewery there. Um, our big sponsor is, I don't know how to say, Jaquir. 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 Jaquir Real Estate. Oh, they're bringing a house in? <laughs> She's our platinum sponsor, so she made a big donation. Wow. She'll be part of it. Good. So, That's wonderful. Yeah, that is very wonderful. Um, so the two... Nonprofits that we're raising money for are the Southwest Civic Fund, as well as Team Justice, and all of our profits will be going to those two nonprofits. 
And what is your thought for next year? My thought for next year is the same thing. Are you talking about the racetrack? No, as far as maybe another, another non-profit organization. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I'm going to make this again for you guys. Well, you. <laughs> we can draw the for other people. You got it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll make it kind of like an annual thing for, for them. Wonderful. And you sign up online? You can sign up online at www.runsouthwick.com. Well, that's wonderful. In 2020, can we call it the uh, 250th celebration run, walk and run for the town of Southwick? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. It's the town's birthday. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do that. It's on a Wednesday, but we're going to celebrate all year. Uh, we'll do yeah. Yeah. There'll probably be an anniversary beer that year, too. Who knows? It'll be endless. I hope there's going to be an anniversary you know, beer that year. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be 250. That's going to be, yeah. You have to make a special brew for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Look at that. So why do I do it? I was just going to say that. I was going to say, well, depending on our. Yeah. But yeah. They can issue 31 day liquor licenses, right? 31 day licenses a year. 31 day license, yeah. Just keep it going. Right, we're going to have a toll booth there anyway, so that's it'll all work out. All right, so I need a motion to approve. So moved. I'll second both that. Both the permit. Both the permit the for the parade and the one-day liquor license. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And he also said no officer was needed, I believe. Yeah. No officer needed at this time. What did Land yeah, Landis yep. Landis note on that. Yep. Wonderful. Okay. up on the top okay so next is budget and program FY 16 CD fill budget and program yeah this extension. is from my record you know Joe you having been on the, um, the community development block grant uh, committee uh, yeah this is, this is part of that committee's uh, process where they need to have a program extension to increase the availability of funds period. and they got to go up to what September 30th of 2018 yep so, and the end date of the contract will go till next June 30th of 2019. So the board needs to authorize the acting chairman to sign this uh, form to be submitted to the state. So moved. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I met some folks on Veteran Street the other day. They're very excited about the construction. It's going well. The yep. guys have been great. They're, they're I can't wait for that drainage to work. Well, you know, think about what was the scope of services for that grant. It was the uh, the van, yep. the food pantry. So yep. that's been secured. That's secured and done. I see it go by me the all the time. The public works project is being done on that roadway with uh, drainage and paving. Yep. And water line. Yeah. And then also housing rehabilitation projects all over town. Yeah. But that street so needed it. A very They're going to miss that tree program. in the middle of the road down there, but maybe they can put a plaque up. Okay. New business. Uh, none tonight, Mr. Chairman. I don't have anything I can think of. Old business. Aye. Southwick Police Department Lieutenant Recruit. That's process is going on. Yep, it's the uh, schedule for the 22nd. Right, you got to wear a suit that day, I'm told. Mm -hmm. uh, electrical Inspector Service. What do we want to do with that? We want Waiting to wait for Doug. For Art. Well, Art. Art, Art has given you his input, and he's yeah. going to be out another couple of weeks, so... If you like the input he's given you, then we could go back to the. Um, well, I don't city think we it. have many options. No. To, to be honest. No. And we can pull out of this at any time if it really doesn't work They're for all parties. Deals. They're annual yeah. deals. They're one year. Uh, I'm comfortable with making okay. the motion. I mean, you, you've read it. You've had the. Document. I've read it. I've read it. My my son, who was an electrician, has read it. And yeah. I mean, it's cut and dry. Oh yeah. It really is. Yeah. The fees are a little bit higher than we're normal used to, but. You gotta have inspections done, and right. we can't retain the people. Timely manner. Did, did Art, in his recommendation, I'm going back a couple of weeks now, reading this, suggest uh, proposing a lower fee? Yeah, it was, it was lower than the one that was submitted to us. Okay, and the Westfield has. We have not gone back. No, I need your okay. okay. To so do. I'd like then to. I, I, I'll make Brian a motion. Knew, Brian knew there was going to be some okay. intent. Okay, I will yeah. make a motion that we approach the city of Westfield with a counter proposal, and if in fact right. it's agreed upon, right. uh, that we enact it. Okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, I, I like Art's yeah, prices better. Yeah, proposal had already lowered that. Yes. Great. 
so we can take that off our list. You know, and of course the town attorney will <coughs> have to be part of the review process for the, uh, the structuring of the wording. Oh, absolutely. We don't want the attorney not to make any money. All right, so 100th birthday for Mary Russ, I Milligan. We that uh, we've had Third. a death in, death in the family, so I, I'm probably not going to be able to do it because of the calling hours and the funeral service. So, uh, I'm in. I, 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 mean, you, Joe, I, I would be there, but I'm in Virginia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can yeah. screw up anything. If I so. can do it, I will do yeah. it. So it's, Russ, it's okay. okay. So it's Thursday. She's 100. She won't even know I'm there. She'll probably think I'm you. Okay. I'm going to tell her I'm you. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Russ we Fox. have been known to. We're kind of short and stocky. And, shop, uh, you know, pictures. other than I have more hair than you, we're about the same. <laughs> yeah, it's different when you have to be in person. Yeah, well, I know. My tongue, uh, definitely a Russ Fox's tongue. The Rotary Club's just That's okay, Joe. Russ will make it's... it up to you. He'll go on the yes. radio show. Yeah, there you go. How bad could it be? <laughs> All right, so the opiate thing is nothing, any old business, sir? Old business. I attended uh, and represented the uh, select board at a blue and gold uh, ceremony on Sunday, the Cub Scouts at uh, Cub Scout Pack uh, 338 at the American Legion. And uh, it was very well attended. It was a terrific program. We have a, a lot of great kids, and, and scouting has always been a big part of Southwick. And why I was there, they presented the certificate to the select board for all that we do to support scouting in the town of Southwick. So Wonderful. Yeah, if we could have that. Uh, we should get that frame to put in the hallway. There you go. We can attach it to the minutes as an exhibit. Yes, we can attach it to the minute as an exhibit. Absolutely. There you go. Well, thank you, Russ, for doing that. You're welcome. It was a delicious meal. Spaghetti? Chicken nuggets. Ooh. <laughs> French fries. Nice. <laughs> Do you have to wear the McDonald's costume? Uh, no. Oh, well, that's no. Good. Russ, that's good. I got to sit at the adult table, too. Well, <laughs> it really sounds like you should be on that walk in a few weeks, Russ. <laughs> yeah, we all well, should be. Because those two chicken nuggets really... Uh, <laughs> Small bites. <laughs> Small bites. I chewed that's 28 a, times. There you go. <laughs> that's wonderful. Nothing else? Uh, no. Anything else, Carl, that you know of that we missed? No, I mean, I just wanted to, you know, um, the police chief and myself and Kevin participated in a active shooter um, briefing the other day by the state police. They came into town hall and they did put a presentation on it oh. for all the different department heads. And they touched upon the fact that, you know, we have five uh, installations that we have to be dealing with. So there's going to be some other actions coming out of that that we're going to uh, work with the school resource officer during the summer when he's not in the school installations. He's going to bring his expertise and he's going to help help us review the municipal buildings. Yeah. So that had been something that was discussed at a department meeting and we're following it. Wonderful. Okay. That's great. Nothing else? You're good? Go to the uh, hearing. Cindy, you're good? And well, let's, what about our hearing? One other thing. Uh, <laughs> And it was in the uh, Southwick news, which was great. Uh, the coverage on the young ladies raising money for the track. Uh, yeah. Did we ever send something officially to, to Granville? I have, a, I have a rough draft. Okay. That I want to talk you know, to him about. Because I, I, I don't mean yeah. for him to match a thousand dollars. No, I do. But well, plus they didn't even respond to me the two times I asked them. You know, I just, so let's, let's, I, it's just yeah. kind of like a, a friendly challenge. Yep. Uh, no, it's that, not friendly. We want a thousand dollars. And uh, <laughs> that uh, they, they it would that be school. It would be I'm great if they contributed okay, no, anything. Contest, you know, <laughs> maybe I'll help you draft <laughs> that rather than uh, the acting chairman. Okay. <laughs> And actually, that's, that, that, that article actually stirred up a lot of conversations because there's some contractors in town that said, wait a minute, what are you spending seven grand for if the unit's already being donated? One guy's got a poll, one guy can do this, so they're asking for blueprints. Oh, um, Crestview and um, Dave Masai. Excellent. Said, so they might be able to help yeah. us. They, yeah, they basically in said, service. hold on, yeah. let's, let's see what we can do here before in kind we service. have someone from out of town come up here. There you go. So. Well, you know, you can always look at other features that may be needed down there, like another pole with other lights at the other end of the track. Well, let's just get this project settled, and then, uh, you know, it's interesting. They all come out when they read something, which is great. You know, the, the money was still there from them, but they said, you know, hey, wait a minute. Let's make sure we can do this right and do it maybe cheaper or do it for, for cost. There so. you go. So you know, I, I might even suggest uh, to the young ladies, I think it'd be okay if they might put together something out in the foyer 
uh, for the day of election. You know, uh, an informational thing. Information. We could lay you down, and they could just keep coming over and zapping you and showing you how it would work. I think that reminds me of that taser. No, isn't that the a taser? taser, Kevin? You, you know, have the taser gun, don't you? and I didn't like <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> either. Well, <laughs> oh, you got tased? No, I didn't like the idea of me being oh, tased, oh, oh. and I don't think oh, I like this. Someone tried to volunteer yeah. me one day too. Wow. They're also doing a fun run for that, which is now on my website to help them. Wonderful. So, and so it's going to be the weekend after I think June 16th. Now they just changed the date, so now people can register, and I'll give them all the. Making. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No. Nope. Hearing. Let's. Oh yeah. Let's do the hearing. Right. I mean, it, all it is is it's a. You could just vote. It's to, a change. It's a change of wording. Is what it comes it's down a to. Change in the name of the. Of the corporation. corporation. All right. So, <clears throat> I'll open up the meeting. Notice is hereby given that the Southwick Select Board, pursued to chap MGL it's Chapter One Forty, including but not limited to Section Fifty Eight, will conduct a public hearing on Monday, May First, at six o five p.m. in the Select Board's conference room. Town Hall, 454 College Highway, Southwick, Mass, 01077, to consider the reissuance of a Class 3 car dealership license at 58 Sam West Road. The proposed license would be reissued from LKQ Route 16 Used Auto Parts DBA LKQ Southwick LLC to LKQ Northeast LLC. The select board can approve the request on proposed or amended at their discretion. The planning board has approved the existing site plan, as this is only a change in the name. Deed and plot plan are on file at the select board's office, and location license is as follows, north side of San West Road. Doug Moglin, Chair, Joseph J. D.D. Vice Chair, and Russ Fox, Selectman. Well, you're the Selectman. Did not even say that you were... Uh, Clerk? It does say Selectman. I thought I was the last Selectman. Anyways, all right, so I'm going to make a motion to open the hearing. I... Just, uh, just amend that it should be Tuesday, May 1st, not Monday. Oh, you're absolutely right. Tuesday. Just so that it's yep. for the record. And here it's written 535. We waited to the end for the applicant to show okay. up, so that's why it said 605. Okay. Uh, Wonderful. So I need a so motion. So moved. I'll, I'll, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Read the legal ad. I already did that. Read any paperwork to be entered in. <laughs> What's that? No, there's not. What's that all about? That goes, that's his. That's other guy I know. Yeah. Cindy, did anyone right. require a Corey check? I'm waiting for them to come. All right, back. Michael so F. They Sullivan. That, Michael F. Sullivan of uh, Aglon, Mass. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wonderful. Is that's anyone here in to speak in favor of this? Please state your name and address for the record. Okay. Is there anyone here to speak against it? Your name and address for the record. We can have a general discussion. I think it's just a name change. And I, I'll, so. I'll, I, I would yep. certainly propose making a motion to close the hearing. They've been here for quite a few years, and uh, yep. they had one big fire two years ago, I think, or a year ago, right? Last you, year. Last year. Which you guys were right on top of that whole mess. And they were very responsive. Absolutely. And now they donate junk cars for you guys to wreck and stuff. Yep. Yeah, good company. They've been great. Um, make a motion to close the hearing. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And licensing board decision on application. I'll make a motion to approve. Pending. Pending. Receipt of requirements. Six forty and all necessary Sorry. requirements. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Because your next meeting is a, is a consent agenda. Yeah. No. It is fifteenth, so you won't have the full meeting until the twenty second. No, I sign that paper. You can sign whatever you want. Is everybody clear on that? Yes. Consent agenda. On the 15th. On the 15th. Full meeting on the 22nd. Yeah. 22nd is um, arranging the board. It's also uh, a tenant hearing, meeting. Right. You, hearing. Get, you get some other plans, too. Great. Big day. All right. Make a motion to end the, the day. So moved. Oh, so is there a period for public comment? That was at the beginning, but we can talk in a minute. We'll answer your questions. All right, so move. So I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Get that off. What you got? Okay.